Thank God you're here because today we're going to have a little fun with famous but weird Scandinavian sayings. So Mikey and I are going to quiz each other and read a Scandinavian saying that makes no sense to us in English and we're going to see if the other one can figure out what that saying is about. Now most of them are Danish, at least the ones that we selected because we live in Denmark and we're going to get to pronounce them in Danish as well, which I know everybody enjoys when we kind of mess up the language. Um, some of them, though, are in Swedish, Finnish, and Norwegian, so we will not be pronouncing those. Um, but I think it'll be fun, and we'll get to see where some of these expressions come from that we hear quite often, um, and some that we haven't heard at all before, and talk about what they actually mean. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, what's the first one you have for me? The first one, Mikey, is actually the title of the book I'm reading from, or part of the title, mm -hmm. which is Owls in the Bog. It's a Danish saying, mm -hmm. and you would actually pronounce it as Ule in Musen, at least I think. I don't know if they would pronounce it that way. but Yeah, well, that's how I pronounced it. So what do you think <laughs> Ule okay. in Musen or Owls in the Bog means? So owls in the Bog. So I'm guessing it's kind of one of those cases where something's where it's not supposed to be. Uh, like a fox in the hen house kind of situation. I'm also thinking with these, I'm sure there's a lot of like phrases that have a bit of an analog in English. Let's see if I can think of what those might be as well. I'm guessing it just, something isn't right. It's not, it's not what it's supposed to be. Owls are usually in the trees, not in the bog. Ah, okay, yeah, that's actually, that's pretty spot on, well done. So it just means that something is suspicious or something suspicious is going on. So yeah, mm. I think that's probably the, uh, version that we hear often in English that there, yeah, there's a, a fox in the hen house. Mm -hmm. is, yeah, that, that seems like it's pretty close. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Go ahead. Let's see what I have for the next one here. Oh, this is the one that I definitely heard uh, heard people talk about here. So it is a delicious herring or an lekkersil. Oh, like a like a, a Danish Christmas meal. Delicious herring. Mm hmm. Um, okay, so I know that Danes really love herring. Uh, it's an acquired taste and as far as I'm concerned. So it must be something uh, something good. So I would say like good luck or good fortune, something good happening. It's good, but it's even more than that. It is a compliment for someone you love. So Aww. for example, you are a like a sieve. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. That's how much they love herring here. That's a term of endearment. Okay, well, didn't see that one coming, but okay, delicious herring. Mm -hmm. I've been called worse. It's true. I've been called worse today. Just kidding. Okay, so the next one is also Danish. Mm -hmm. And clap le hesten. I know you know that one. You know at least some of those words. And that's to, to pat the horse, right? Yeah. That's pat the horse, yeah. Pat the horse. Oh. So pat the horse, what do you think? I've that heard that means? one, but now I'm trying to remember what, I, what context I've heard it in. Um, I think to pat the horse is to, to kind of get the job done, like you, you pat the horse so the horse starts going in the field, uh, I'm guessing, something like that. Okay, that's a good guess, mm -hmm. but it's wrong. Oh no! Yeah. Um, th uh, here's a hint, uh, mm -hmm. a Taylor Swift song. Taylor Swift song. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to help that's me not help much. It's like a million. Um, it basically means like you need to calm down. So, ah, yeah. okay. So you need to calm down. Like slap a, like slap a, yeah. Go yeah. pet your horse, yeah. Slap a, uh, clap li hesten, yeah. So like you would say that to somebody, like take a chill pill. Gotcha. Go gotcha. slap the horse, and I guess the book describes it in a little bit more detail, uh, but it's almost like snuggling a puppy or stroking a cat uh, might be like an alternative. You need to calm down. Yeah, uh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay, here's one. Actually, I don't think I've heard anyone use this one before here, but uh, it's blowing half a pelican. The blazer and half pelican. Okay, well, I'm going to guess that blowing half, I mean, that kind of, obviously the wind, I would think. So, like, yeah. I'm assuming it's something like, yeah, wind? Yeah. It's, it's, so it's, it's got to be like, if a pelican can't even fly in it, it would be... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, said the, it says that it's because pelican rhymes with arken, which is hurricane, I guess. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, it's, if it's blowing half a pelican, it is, uh, it's really windy. Yeah, that's, that's, 
I can, and I can only imagine in Denmark how windy it has to be to be blowing half a pelican since most days it's blowing at least a, a quarter pelican. Yeah. yeah. I guess it also makes sense that you would have expressions. <laughs> About wind? Because it's always windy that you would have expressions right. that... Different degrees of windy. Different degrees of windiness. Yeah. 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 Makes like sense. Something about how like native Alaskans have like thirty different words for snow or something right. like that. Yeah. If it's if it's your world, if it's, if it's, yeah, you have a lot of words for it. Yeah, yes. makes sense. Okay. Well, the next one I believe is a bit in a similar mm-hmm. rain. The next one is that reina skomagadling drink. That reina skomagadling, which is. Uh, Easier in English than mm-hmm. my poor, poorly pronounced Danish. It's raining cobbler boys. <laughs> I assume it's like it's raining cats and dogs in, in English. We'd say, but yeah, cobbler yeah. boys. Yeah, like precise. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. That's so awesome. the same way that Brits would say, or well, in American English too, oh, yeah. we say it's raining cats and dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so it's it's raining really hard. Is there a reason but, why the skomengler just? Um, Presumably, like they would have hammers and nails, and, uh, and, also, and it's like, like it's coming down. They would, yes, so it's coming uh, down like as hard as a cobbler boy would be hitting the hitting an anvil. An anvil making a horseshoe. Yeah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess. Uh, I guess that works. Yeah. Ah, I heard this one here. Although I, I'm oh. just thinking, like it's raining men. Like, yeah, it's probably different. Probably a little bit different. One than degree of. No, yeah. Similar, not the same. Yeah. And they're boys. Uh, <laughs> True. So, next one here is to step into the spinach or chala spinatin. I'm assuming it's when you kick a vegan person. <laughs> no. Um, or go vegan, but then like you mess it up and you're you no a, longer vegan. You have a cheeseburger instead. You have a cheeseburger instead because yeah. you're not good at being a vegan. Um, Oh, step step in spinach. To step into the spinach. Step into the spinach. I'm sorry, becoming vegan seems like it really might be. It's not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I didn't think it was. Um, mm-hmm. Step into spinach. Like slip. Like slip and fall. Maybe. Um, doesn't seem like it. So it says that it's when you unintentionally cause embarrassment or act in a tactless way, kind of like. Putting your foot in it. Okay. Uh, stepping into the spinach, it's kind of oh, like... like putting your foot in it. Okay. Yeah, kind of like, you know, stepping into poo or something like that. Ah, yeah. I'd say. Would, yeah, say in English, yeah. But yeah, so that's... Uh, yeah, you don't want to step into the spinach because it's it's going to be a little embarrassing for you. Yeah. Oh, and there's another... Oh, Norwegians say step into the salad. Mm-hmm. And Swedes say... Step in the piano. <laughs> because why wouldn't you step of into course. the piano? Yes. Why not? Okay. Okay. Well, the next one is Finnish. Ooh. So you have to pronounce the Finnish. I'm <laughs> oh. I don't know if we have a lot of Finnish viewers, but I don't want to well, anger whatever, them. Whatever we have, we're gonna I lose. don't want to step into the spinach here. <laughs> but well um if you're Finnish and this makes you angry, just go pat the horse. Um, I'll try. I ola su tohesta. Okay. It, <laughs> in English, it would translate to um, don't have a mouth of birch bark. Don't have a mouth of birch bark? Yes. Uh, <laughs> birch trees are very finished. Yeah, birch. So. Yeah, they're, they're everywhere. Um, yeah. A mouth of birch bark, I presume, means don't say something stupid. Um, no. Oh, totally got that no, wrong. No, definitely got that wrong. Hmm. Although I can see how they're closely related. And hmm. If you want, I'll explain it. Please explain it. Yeah. So it basically means um, that uh, they're an enthusiastic drinker. Oh. So, for example, if you asked me if I wanted to go out and have a drink uh, on Friday, mm-hmm. on a Friday night, I might say, I don't have a mouth of birch bark. Gotcha. And that means <laughs> and now it actually I want to have some beers. I want to have some beers. I want to have a drink. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. And it's funny. I remember somebody visited us, I think JP, and brought us some shots mm-hmm. from 
might have been Icelandic, hmm. so Nordic, not Scandinavian or Scandinavian Nordic. I don't know. And it had some birch bark in it. I remember that. So okay. I don't think that's where it comes from, but I think yeah, don't have a mouth of birch bark. I guess means um, it's not rude. It just says get your drink on. I'm an enthusiastic drinker. I'm gonna get my drink on. I'm gonna that's get my enough. drink on. Okay. Oh, we're going Swedish for this one. Okay. So um, if you get paid for old cheese, for betalt for gammal ost. Gammal ost. Okay. So yeah, that's old, old cheese. cheese. Yeah. I mean, it's not that they're probably get, get paid, you know, receive payment Bata- for yeah. old cheese. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Get paid for old cheese. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to guess it's like, like, Cheating someone or pulling, like getting ripped off, maybe like I mm-hmm. got it, like or, or no, maybe cheating somebody because if you're getting paid for old cheese, like you're kind of a dodgy, shady person, like ripping somebody off, like so uh, being if you're getting paid for old cheese, then you're like untrustworthy. I, I mean, in the right ballpark, as we'd say. So what it says is that if you get money for old cheese, it means you're on the receiving end of revenge. Oh. So okay. you run somebody, and to get the revenge, you're going to get paid for old cheese. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I hear you, Sweden. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Scandinavian sayings are interesting. It's yeah. interesting all around. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are similar to... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Once like, we have it in English. And, and you always want to tell someone to pat like the horse. It's fun, like, hearing a little bit of where, the, where it comes from. Oh, yeah, or imagining definitely. where it comes from. Definitely. You know, the ones that aren't so obvious. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the last one, and mm-hmm. it's uh, Norwegian. Nice. So I'll try to pronounce it, because Norwegian and Danish are close. Mm-hmm. Um, just, you should see, just slower, more clearly, and like you're on a mountain. Yeah, it goes up at the and end. And you go up at the end. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Det er helt på trinet. I don't know. Treating it. Okay. It's completely on the snout. So it's like on the nose? On the nose. So yes. like if you get something so completely on the snout, does it mean is it the same as English? That like you get it completely correct that if you're on the nose that you're you're correct? Um no. God, I am not good at this. <laughs> I've gotten all of them wrong, okay. I think. So it's actually quite the opposite. Um <laughs> so but it's it's funny, and the book gives a little guidance that um, okay. You know, in Danish, pigs are important. They're important mm-hmm. in commerce, important in everything, day-to-day life. Mm-hmm. A lot of bacon um, and pork mm-hmm. products. Uh, so in, in, in Denmark, for Danes, uh, pigs are very taken very seriously. Obviously. But in Norway, not quite so much. Uh, so gotcha. the idea is that it's completely on the snap would be like something ridiculous. Oh, Okay. Yeah. So the opposite. So the opposite. The opposite of, of, of what I said. Of what we thought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I am not good at this. Yeah. Game. I, yeah. I wasn't. I, think I, got I wasn't all so good. Wrong. You know, we were either spot on or mm-hmm. way off. But mm-hmm. I guess Scandinavian sayings and and Danish sayings are. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Pat the horse. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. All right. I'll calm down. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. It was a lot of fun. I think yeah. it's always it's always neat to kind of understand. Because I'll be honest with you, I didn't realize how many ridiculous things that we say in American English yeah. until suddenly I was in Denmark working with a bunch of non-Americans and having them say, what do you mean by that? Like to, to explain like, oh, I want a ballpark estimate. People are like, I know what it means because I've watched American TV and like worked in international companies, but... What's a ballpark? What does it really mean? What's a ballpark? Yeah. Oh. So many of American ones are sports related too, Absolutely. which is, which is yeah. interesting. We got to get good at our blocking and tackling and yes. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a home run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots mm-hmm. yeah. oh, of slam dunk. Yeah. Yeah, we really do a lot yeah. of, a lot of sports, a lot of sports metaphors sports in American things. business. I think so, yeah. at least. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. So um, thanks, for, thanks for watching us. Um, Pronounce really bad Scandinavian languages, and I hope you enjoyed our video about uh, wonderful wordplay and Scandinavian sayings that we just learned. Um, if you're interested in the book, uh, it was a gift to us, and it's also a really cool, like just coffee table book for something to pick up and, and talk about at parties. So if you're interested in buying it for yourself or giving it to somebody, we will put a link to purchase the book in the description below.
And also make sure you give the video a like uh, so you can get more like it. And subscribe if you have not subscribed to our channel and you're interested in our content. We put new videos out on Thursdays, sometimes on Tuesdays, and sometimes we do lives on Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah Tuesdays are flex day, but always on Thursdays we drop new videos. Um, so uh, please check us out. And if you're familiar to our channel, we usually end with a beer toast, but today it's just going to be Danskvand. Uh, so, or, you, so you don't have a mouth full of birch bark so today. So I don't have a mouth full of birch bark today. We're doing a little cleanse. Good to do every now and then for the body. So skull. skull. That's good. It's good. It's refreshing.